Hello and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Rogue. We are starting sequence 5 I believe if I go on the progress tracker. If we go on the progress tracker uh, we've completed sequence 4 so that means we're on sequence 5 and then I think it's only 6 sequences because that's incomplete memories. Okay um, I don't know what that is. Discover Shay's purpose in this place and time. I have no idea. Um, so we got sequence 5 to do and sequence 6. six. Sequence 6 and then I think we might finish the game so hopefully I can finish sequence 5 in this session of recording because I like to keep it at one like sequence like per per session of recording so that's what I've been trying to do even though I have had a couple on like uh, the, the longer ones which is like sequence 2 and sequence 1 I had a couple of sessions on them but uh, here we go Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of Understanding, of understanding guide, us. guide us. Shay's just become a Templar. Oh, and that was the first sighting of Haytham Kenway. Which is cool. <laughs> Ooh, picking teams. I think that that was the end of sequence four. So. I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. All right, back in the real world. So, I want I I, I saw something while whilst editing the video, and I saw like there was a what's it called a tablet that I missed. I think. I believed I saw it in the corner of my eye. Not too sure. I think it was around. Ah, see, it was this. Look, that looks like a tablet to me. Oh, is that one? It is one. I did see one. I, I knew it. I knew it. Tablet document eight. Uh, to Christina Urich from Melanie Lemay. Subject: Aveline de Grand Pre. I'd like to explore the possibility of a, of a follow-up to Liberation. We found some footage of Aveline's activities in New England, and it seems clear that she was still very active later in life. Ideally, I'd, idea, what is that word say? Ideally, I'd like a sequel to Liberation or some kind of follow-up, but I understand that's going to take some resources that we don't have right now. A quick fix option is to reuse existing assets and take a more family friendly angle on her story. From a scrappy servant to a woman of dignity and poise. And pose, I don't know. Experience the heartwarming 18th century tale of a young Creole woman as she struggles to find a long lost mother and heal the wounds of separation forever. Additionally, the liberation of Lady Aveline might open up some. Re revenue from women which is a demographic I think we have been ignoring for too long now ML okay we just wanted to see that so where am I going I'm going this way and if I see 
something I will hack the computer. Okay, into the elevator we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going, man. Calm down. Wait. Here we go. 15 floor. Loading, loading, loading. Ah, poop. She's going to figure out that I've been looking at all the messages. <laughs> This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Absurgo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Absurgo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Okay, level two. Uh, level two past not level two in general. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm an idiot. Do, 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 do. See, this game is sort of confusing me at the moment with like the assassins and the Templars. Like, are the Templars actually doing good or are the assassins actually doing good? We don't know. Well, that's level 3. So, I'll check there. Level 2, here we go. This computer here. Log on. Oh wow, this looks confusing. Huh. Oh! I'm sick! I did it by accident! Oh yeah! Corruped! Nice! Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor. And in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Magandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Magandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agate fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandale's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agate out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Cambrai, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. Hmm. Okay, so we've got Al Mualim, Baptiste, and Haytham Kenway. Okay, nice. I've got your animus ready and waiting. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, down we go. Um, I want to go to the lobby, please, first. Oh, that was a computer. Oh, hang on. Right, we're going back up to uh, floor 15 now, because I saw a computer that needs to be hacked. Okay. 